Uh, good morning, guys. It's raining. I didn't realize. Um, I've got the recorder, the parabolic dish, and I wanted to get some birds and nature sounds. I don't know if you guys remember, I accidentally deleted my hard drive, one of them, uh, three or four months ago. I lost everything, and I had all my nature and bird calls and sounds on there, and I thought, well, right now there's a lot of birds nesting in the swamp around here. Let's get some new recordings. But it's raining, so I don't know. Uh, recording with the parabolic dish in the rain is not good because all you hear is the rain hitting the dish. So, also, I'll give you guys another update on this stupid glass cover for the phone. Um, I told you guys a couple videos back that I dropped my phone in Costa Rica. It had an eye shields glass cover on it, which they sell at Costco, came with it. And I've had those before and never had any good luck, so... That one I dropped from waist high onto the rocky ground and it smashed. Yes, my phone was not damaged. So I thought, okay, I had another one and I put it on. Well, immediately that night after putting it on, guys, I went to the Y. I was bent over tying my shoes. My phone was on the ground, okay? I picked it up and it literally came three inches off the ground and it slipped out of my fingers and it dropped to the ground and the glass protector broke again. So my mind is made up, guys. I am now using a silicone cover on here. I bought some new ones. I use those on all my cameras, and I use those on my old phones. They work great. You're going to get anywhere between three months and six months out of a silicone cover, and there's nothing to break. Uh, they stick very good. It's like a skin. It just attaches right to the phone. That is what I recommend, guys. If you're on the fence, don't buy any of those glass covers. They are a waste of money. It's all a sham. They break so that you think, oh wow, that was a pretty hard impact, it saved my phone. The same thing with polarizers and, and the clear protectors for your camera, right? They don't actually offer any protection to your lenses. If you drop a lens hard enough, the shock was gonna go right through that. Same with the phone. Now these new phones, they, they are crazy good. It's like crystal, you can't damage that. Well, you can, but it's much more difficult than it was on previous versions. I forget. I think it's like Gorilla Glass 2004 right now. I don't know what number they're at, okay? It's crazy, tough stuff. My mom called me the other day to pick up my sister's car from the garage. She was going to sell it to Aunt Angie, who their car got wrecked a few weeks back. I told you guys uh, in an accident, she got T-boned. And Aunt Angie did not end up buying the car. I went to pick up the car from the garage... And um, this is my sister's, and I thought, well, this is a pretty good little car. It's it's a freaking 12-year-old car, but, I mean, it's fantastic. My sister just put a bunch of money into it. I took it for a drive. I brought it back to my mom's, and I thought, this would be a great little car for Hannah. And that's exactly what uh, mom and I had a discussion, and Hannah works as well as going to high school. She's a super great student, straight A's. And we thought, oh, you know what, for the price of this Little beater, I know. It's got 80,000 kilometers on it. It's not even broken in yet. So Hannah has new wheels. Yeah, no, all I can hear is the rain hitting the deck up there. So I can't even leave the recorder out here under the deck. It actually looks like it's starting to rain harder. Okay, so we'll uh, have to try again later, guys. Not to mention, I am sick. I don't know if it's the Costa Rican swamp fever. I've been home for a week, but uh, <clears throat> it started in the head and it's now moving to the chest. Maybe I'll go lay down for a couple hours. I don't know. I, nah, that doesn't sound like a good plan. You guys know me. I can't relax. I looked out the kitchen window and there's a sandhill crane back there on my septic system at the end of the lawn. So I'm going to grab a couple pictures here. He's actually hunting frogs on my lawn. So I joined uh, Merlin, which is a bird um, sound organization. They record sounds and you can log in and, and add recordings and images of birds and say where you found them. And I found 20 species that I logged right here in my own yard in the last week. You guys have seen the the videos where we're out testing different long lenses and I was looking up the sandhill crane because I know we've never had them here the first eight years we didn't have them 200 kilometers from here where I lived before we did have them and even in the Merlin app they are listed as rare for this area 
So it's really cool that we've got one back there hunting right in the yard. <laughs>